My name is Bonnie Chow, and my company name is CGC Group, and I am the managing partner. We are a consulting and HR staffing and executive recruitment firm. My typical day starts uh, in a very busy and hectic way. Um, I follow up with uh, our interviews from the following day. I also check in with my project managers on our HR consulting um, and try and look for what our goals are for that day and also to get my team ready for the rest of the week. Um, traveling often right now, uh, maybe about 10%. Uh, is, is travel and I'd say the majority of uh, my hours are about 55 hours a week. Favorite part of my job is when I find the perfect candidate for a company and also when that candidate is overwhelmed and excited about joining a fantastic organization that aligns with their current uh, career goals as well as, their, as well as their values. Um, I think it would be on the dynamics of the scope of my job. So there's so many opportunities um, to do consulting in so many different areas of HR, and I'd really like to have my firm go out there and touch all that, learning and development, employee relations, um, really get the team involved in that. I guess it would have to be the wide range of knowledge that you need to have as an HR professional. Uh, policies and guidelines change all the time. You know, they are governed by federal rules and regulations and really keeping up, you know, with those changes because they are important as they apply to firms like myself and also to large organizations. Um, I started in staffing firm and I just found that I had a passion for recruiting and uh, my journey through my career took me through um, staffing, corporate recruitment, and eventually um, leading a global uh, team for recruitment. So um, the community service that I'm currently involved in is I like to get um, my team and my company um, out in the community to, hope, to help lower income uh, communities and help those folks get them prepared um, for their job search. You know, I would say education. Um, so important to, um, you know, follow through with your development um, within HR as a professional. There are so many different certifications and so many different professional affiliations that you can start joining early on, even as a student, um, and if you are pursuing HR. So education, I would say, definitely is my biggest advice. Um, you know, I think with mistakes, what they really help you do is they help you grow. And I don't think I would change any of the mistakes that happened during my career. If anything, I think they've made me a better HR professional today because of those. Um, I went to Florida International University um, in Miami, Florida. And my major was English Literature and my minor was Psychology. Um, I would say get an internship. Um, I, you know, went to uh, school full time and I also had a full time job. And I think back then, whether it was naiveness or uh, maybe a little bit of misguidedness, I didn't uh, choose jobs that were aligned with what I was looking to do as a career. And I think if I had to go back and change that, I would definitely align myself with the right positions so that I could continue to grow as a professional. Absolutely. I think um, I was very lucky to have some fantastic professors um, that were mentors to me um, in college and really set me on the right path. And um, after time, that path led me to where I am today. My number one professional tip is invest in yourself. Um, find the time to develop yourself, um, not only as a professional, but also on a personal level. Take that time to really regroup and, um, you know, relax and re-energize so that every day, which should be different, is going to be exciting.
Um, I would say that if you're looking to get into HR, there are so many different areas. Um, you know, take the time, take an opportunity to intern in an HR department and you'll see the complexity behind um, everyone being so specialized in a certain area. Uh, the other advice that I would give is definitely join a professional affiliation even as a student so that you can begin to network with other professionals and get an idea about their career journey and what they enjoy most about their job. And finally, I would say pick your passion and stick to it and just continue to grow as a professional. My number one personal tip is believe in yourself. And that was something that was handed down to me by a mentor. And believing in myself has opened so many doors. The confidence that I took not only from myself and believing I could do something, but also the confidence that was instilled in me by my mentors have really helped me grow as a professional and grow as a person.